Bonjour, je suis Nicolas Senninger, un architecte de l'Exist Collective, basé à Paris. Je veux juste vous introduire à notre nouvelle windmill, donc si vous pouvez nous suivre. So. My name is Francesco Manacoda and I'm uh, the curator at the Barbican Art Gallery. Um, welcome to our Dawson Mill, uh, one of the off-site projects for the exhibition that is currently on show uh, at the Barbican, Radical Nature, Art and Architecture for a Changing Planet. Which uh, is a survey, a historical survey from the end of the 60s till today, looking at uh, how artists and architects have collaborated with nature. One of the principles of Radical Nature was to uh, import in the middle of the art gallery nature and uh, to create a sort of sense of uh, invasion uh, of the natural environment within the uh, built environment where nature shouldn't be in the, in the art gallery. And as a counterpart to that gesture, we decided to create various um, off-site projects, one of them being this, uh, this intervention in Dalston, in the east end of London. So here at the Dolston Mill, we basically enter from the bakery. The bakery is composed uh, with two ovens, fire ovens, where uh, we cook the bread and the various recipe you can cook through with the oven. And we also invite the, the citizens, the people living in the area and in London to, to come and share their uh, knowledge about and uh, skills in cooking in the, in the oven. The site uh, is, uh, is composed of two different works. One is a new commissioned architectural work by uh, the Architectural Collective Exist, um, a group from Paris, and this is the windmill that you can see uh, turning its wheel. And then just behind me you can see the reconstruction of uh, a work by Agnes Dennis that was originally done in 1982, um, the work being called Wheatfield, A Confrontation. We work with Agnes, uh, who is based in New York, to redo uh, this seminal work uh, here in the middle of the urban fabric in London. It was for us a way to respond at the same time on this uh, urban agriculture project, even iconic, and, and the windmill attached to this project could provide real uh, public facilities to the community. So I uh, basically hope that the people just come and hang out also and uh, can bring and set up the life inside this unused space. So the, the windmill is also a core for the life to take, take place in this, this area. So this is the, the heart uh, of, the, of the windmill. On this level, it shows how we could produce a bit of electricity by recycling a car alternator and that charge the battery. And this battery, we can plug in 12 volts uh, a series of lights that lights up in the evening. And at the same time, we wanted not only to transform uh, one energy, that's say the wind, into electricity, but also kind of uh, domestic uh, equipment. So you pour the seeds and the grains on the top and are, are being uh, grinded uh, into flour. In this case, uh, the message of Radical Nature, which, uh, which had to do with like, looking at nature differently and, uh, and seeing how artists have contributed to the environmental debate from the 70s till today, um, fits into uh, a larger understanding on how we can use nature, how, how we are relate to nature and how we can use land in the middle of the city. It's a work in progress and that in this work in progress we can invite the people to take part and you don't have this distance that's a new building just new we like this architecture which are a bit rough basically it would be really nice that th like temporary architecture can just activate a bit this this place <laughs> 